Hello everybody, welcome to a new video in JDownloader course. Today we're gonna talk about uh, the toolbar of JDownloader, this toolbar. First, uh, we will talk about this button. This button obviously is used to, is used to start downloads. Uh, for example, when we click on it, we can see that the uh, download in the key will store. This download. You can see here uh, that all these downloads are finished. This package uh, have a problem. There's no online uh, links. That means that uh, the link of the downloading is unavailable for now. This package is disabled like this. You can see here uh, that it's disabled. To enable it, you can right click on it and uh, choose enable. So it will be enabled. Uh, this button it's pause mode. Uh, which is used to limit the speed of all downloads in JDownloader to 40 kilobytes per second or 40 kilobits per second as we can see here in the speed meter the speed is limited is limited to 40 kilobits per second this button uh, to stop the download tells you that uh, if you stopped or running downloads you would lose 20 kilobytes uh, if you stop the all, uh, it tells you if you stop all the running downloads, you will lose 300 kilobytes due to one non reusable download. I choose yes. Okay, we can see that all downloads have stopped. As you can see now, if we start the downloading now, this file will start. Previously, it hasn't started because it was disabled, but now it's enabled. So it will start as it's the first in the queue. Okay. Let's stop the downloads again. Uh, this button is to move one package to the top of the list. Uh, like that. If we click on this package, then click here. We can see that the package have been uh, has been moved to the top of the list. Uh, so when we start downloads, it will start first. Uh, this uh, button, like this, it moves the package to the top of the item above of it. It takes then uh, one higher rank in the list. If you click again, it will be pushed up again. If we click this button, we can see that the package is moved down. If we click it again, we can see that it's moved down again. Okay, if we click here, we can see that uh, this button to move it down one time. This button to move it to the bottom of the list. Uh, so it will be downloaded at the end of the process. Uh, then this button or this uh, option if we check it like this check this box uh, it allows the program to read our clipboard and extract uh, the links from it and to add it directly to the program like this if we into a file like this and uh, it has links then we will select this link and click copy to be moved to the clipboard we can see that the program directly uh, started checking this link and trying to get a direct download link from it okay it tells us that uh, the process failed because this link is not available we can try another link sorry now it's processing okay what about this? Processing like this. Okay, it found six online links. Then we return to the program. We find that uh, 
it checked our link and found these files in it this mp3 file for we can delete all uh, unnecessary files or other needed files this links of the previous trials uh, to add the previous two links we will delete them, we don't need them and then we can start downloading uh, easily as we knew in the, uh, the previous videos this option allows the program to use the premium, account, the premium account that you added in the program uh, it allows it to use them uh, to download through them we can add the premium account f uh, like this go to settings then it's uh, general we will go to account manager we can uh, add accounts here uh, like premium uh, like premium accounts on uploaded to or any other um, uh, sites we can add our premium account here there is here the name and password uh, okay then click save when you fill this boxes you will find your account here then the program will be able to use this account to download your uh, files smoothly this option uh, enables silent mode when it's checked enable silent mode uh, which prevents all uh, pop-ups of the program it won't notify you of anything uh, this option allows uh, shutdown extension uh, this extension uh, enables the program to shut down the computer if the downloads are done or are completed this option as you can see uh, it's designed to al uh, to make the program uh, able to um, restart your internet connection so that you can get a new IP address sometimes this option doesn't work like this it uh, reconnection failed this option allows the program uh, to check for the new updates if we click on that if we click on it uh, we can see that our program have been updated to the latest version now we have reached the end of this uh, lesson I hope you get it easily I hope the lesson was obvious for every one of you. Thanks for watching. Uh, wait for us in next videos. Thanks. Uh, I hope this lesson was easy to understand. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and see you in another video.